welcome to my channel. Today I'll be cooking Polish Vigos, which is also known as Polish Hunter's Stew. Um, my father used to make it and I'm going to have a go myself today. Mushrooms, more mushrooms, dried mushrooms, beef, pork, knack uh, frost, smoked bacon, an onion, cabbage, diced tomatoes, of course, no Polish recipe is complete unless you have bay leaves. Peppercorns, garlic, a few cloves, um, Polish sauerkraut, and some broth. So I'm going to start chopping up and that'll be back. Hello, we are back and everything is now chopped. So we have our portobello shiitake mushrooms. We had the dried mushrooms that have been soaking in water. We've now got the lamb and the beef. We've got our Polish sausage. We've got the bacon, half a head of cabbage, onions chopped up, and of course the yummy sauerkraut. Polish sauerkraut. Mm. Okay, now to put it all together. Okay, so now my pot is all heated up. Put the olive oil in there and I'm just going to brown, put this in and brown off the meat. As you can see, my meat's browning nicely. Okay, now that's nice and browned off, I'm going to put it back in the bowl that I have washed and cleaned. Now I'm going to add the diced bacon. And now I'm going to add the diced onion. I'm going to cook that down until it browns off a little bit nicely. Woo! She's having a dance. Polish dance. Also, don't forget to scrape any good stuff off the bottom that sticks. There's a lot of flavour in that. Now we're going to add the mushrooms. And these beautiful mushrooms that were dried plus the liquid. We're going to add the meat back into it. Ooh, there we go. Everything's only been, you put it in, stir it for two, three minutes, four minutes. Pour the next lot of ingredients back in. Give that a little bit of a stir. Right, now I'm going to add a handful of bay leaves, peppercorns, white peppercorns, and in it goes. In goes the sausage. Mmm, that's smelling great. And also, in goes the sauerkraut. Okay, now to add the cabbage. 
and I'll add some of the stock. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll let that simmer. I'll put the lid on and it, the cabbage, cabbage will wilt down. So I'll be back as soon as that wilts down a little bit. My proud Polish dad, Jan, and my nanny, Olga. Dad's been gone now for uh, nearly 14 years and he was a proud Polish gentleman and also a master chef and cooked us many, many meals. I went to Dad's home in Bielsko Biala in Poland in 1995 where I bought this gentleman in my father's hometown. Don't you think it looks like him? I couldn't believe it. It was meant to be. And I saw where dad went to school, where dad was born in the town. I stayed at the Presidential Hotel there in Bielsko Biala. So long ago, but I got everything on video, which I'm so glad one day I will show Kobe. Again, I'm just going to show you what it looks like at the moment and I'm going to let it sit now for a couple of hours. I mean it is 10 o'clock Thursday night but it is one of those stews where you need to let it sit overnight, cook it for two hours, turn it off and then re-cook it again tomorrow to get extra flavour out of it. So this is it at the moment. We're going to say nine-eyes to it. We're going to dobra We'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. So I got up this morning at six o'clock and I took this out of the fridge and I put it back on the stove. So it's been simmering now for about three hours and it's smelling amazing. Um, and I'd just like to say a big thank you and shout out to Anna from The Polish Kitchen. I found her on YouTube and I'm just obsessed. So my goal is to try and make everything that Anna makes and um, share it with family and friends. And I will put the link somewhere here there there of where to find her and um, I'd really love to meet her one day she's just such she's an inspiration she's just like the, the godmother of Polish food she's beautiful okay and I will be back okay so this is the finished product And I am taking this beauty to my boyfriend's parents' place tonight for dinner. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope to make another beautiful Polish recipe soon. So for now, Kohem Shea, you all.